all righty you guys um welcome to tonight's video i wanted to find a good one this one's a good one mr obvious well apparently mr obvious is fucking retarded and we'll get into that here in a minute um he says a lot of non-true things in this video and then me and dad will just roast him i'm gonna point out the non-true things he says let's get into it all right you guys here it is mr obvious He's back, guys. We got another hacker on the channel. This dude said nothing wrong. He said the truth, and Go Beamer ahead. can't handle it. Man, I mean, you should better own what you want to own and have what you want to have. <laughs> well, he's killing. Problem. He's killing history. I tell you what. Uh, Beamer heard Manchester and got hard. Your little punk ass uh, step kid, Gilbert Clinton. He, he's still, he, he, to this day, this man can't wrap his head around. There's more than just two people that can't stand this Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, no matter how many people come out. Why are you going to try to send your fucking haters onto another YouTuber, you piece of shit? What you're doing right now. And when you pull out your little paper with them names and stuff, is no different than what everybody's doing to you right now, Barry. Once it's in the public, it's fair use. The only difference is crotch right. You can't do nothing about this. You kill him. Yeah, Every one of them cars you're killing a piece of history. Because you're not doing nothing with him. He shouldn't say you shouldn't be allowed to keep him. He should say you shouldn't be allowed to destroy him. Yeah. Right you're killing a piece of history with that one, that one, that one, all of them. I mean, it, let's be real. It's America. I mean, if Barry wants to do this, Barry can do this. It don't make it right, and I'm going to rag on him for it. Because yeah. I don't think it's right. It's a waste. Ready? It's a farm. You can do whatever you want. He he spills so much inaccurate information here in a minute. It's just you can tell how dumb he is. And I want to point something else out. He didn't buy this property. His mom gifted this property to him. So for him to act like he bought this is bullshit. And then he says, "Hang on." Okay. First of all, Barry, a conservative isn't a Democrat. You fucking idiot. You don't talk politics, at least know the fucking phrasing. Take a bulldozer and, you know, steamroll it over with a bulldozer. Okay, and your property's worth the same amount of money. You're full of shit. Has now, nothing. For some reason. It, in Indiana, it goes by building, how many buildings, garages you have, blacktop, cement. I mean, here they charge you for a slab. You have a slab in your yard, they're going to raise your taxes. But it also has to do with your neighborhood, where you live, this, your surrounding area. Your neighbor's property is what they look like, affects your property values, and vice versa. He brings down the property value. When it's assessed, they assess it by all kinds of shit. What have you bought on this your own? This is the third property so, house that go, we've owned that I paid for in my life. But the first one on contract, the second one I bought in a tax sale, you know what, dude? and sold, and then Kiss this one. That's what you you always think about ass, don't you? And right up, right up ass, don't you? Once again, so is he a Republican or a Democrat? Yeah. yeah. As a Democrat, you know, <laughs> Here we go. You're Listen, against me. everything, you know. You're a fucking idiot. America, okay? Conservative want, is Republican. That's why. Not Democrat, you fucking loser. It's free. You know, you're free to do as you choose, okay? Well, I know, I you voted. Know, you can't have these cars in the well, I actually vote. Not I actually I can vote. Unlike you. Because of assholes like Glenn, you know? It has nothing to do with zoning. How many cars you have has nothing to do with zoning. He is a moron. That has to do with code enforcement. Nothing to do with zoning. Zoning can't tell you how many. Zoning has to do with whether your property is zoned commercial, residential. I mean, this has nothing to do with cars. This is the same man that, that's looking at them images of fucking 18 year old girls. Zoning ain't who comes to your house and tags your cars when they're, when they're considered abandoned. Okay. It's code enforcement that does that, not zoning. He's a moron. Why are you trying to send your haters onto another big YouTuber? Because he's hoping to over to probably shut him out. Because this man is depending on people to shut him out to make it. trustee position anymore. You're not a trustee anymore. So I don't know why you're thinking you're still some high and mighty. We need to find him on YouTube, on uh, Facebook. So Glenn, go to hell. And, well, you know, there you go. Go to hell and die. So is he a Democrat or a Republican? I'm confused. Sorry you guys if you're going to weather the storm through this with me, but it's just part of, uh, I guess, part of having a YouTube channel. The fact of the matter is you're killing every single one of them cars, bikes, and everything you have. You're killing them. Other people that are just and that's sad. Oh, butt hurt, you know, and it's just stuck up, and, you know, they don't like it all. I'm not stuck up. I have cars, and I'm saying what you're doing to them cars is wrong. 
You can't look at me and go, you don't have a channel. You don't have anything. What do you have? Can you bury? And that's what pisses you off. Because unlike you, I got a GS. Unlike you, what do you got? Where's your GS? Fill a garage. <laughs> and you know, we got other buildings too. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of buildings on this property. There used to be a trailer over there. There was another trailer attached yeah, to the back yeah. of this house. When your property's assessed, you're assessed for every single one of the buildings. Get a yep. Life. You know, if you don't like the life you have, think about what you're saying. Your property's worth your property would be worth more when the house tore down. Probably. I mean, and the building's gone because they would have to tear them down when they got the property. I mean, I'm starting to think he's talking about himself because he really don't like his life right now. He heard his voice. Well, I mean, he thinks Zoe's gonna tell him what he can do with his car. Right? <laughs> he's fucking a moron. I mean, you can tell he's never had to deal with nobody. Or deal with it. No real business. You mean that rotted out piece of junk that needs right. every body panel? Hey, anything can happen. You know, change your mindset. Find a piece of property where you can like have no zoning and Jesus make Christ. Zoning, zoning, Barry. And you can do what you want. Everybody's property is zoned the same in your area. It's all residential. Uh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> don't fuck. you, so I don't think you, can even you mean find your property that don't have code enforcement. Yeah, buddy, on the next one. Check out my friend's access all for us, Jamie. Okay, let's have some final thoughts. For one, Barry wants to whine about me and Dad doing what we're doing and Mako doing what they're doing. Well, ain't this, ain't this technically what you were doing? The only difference is you can't block us or shut us down like you want to. And, and... What's up with, with you fucking talking mad shit still? You look like the biggest bitch in the world. The difference is you don't have to like what's being said here. You don't have to agree with it. And you can comment what you want to comment. And that comment will still be there in a week. You should see. I won't attack you for it and tell you you're an idiot. And, and, and put all your information up here and run you up in the funnies for having an opinion. You're allowed to have an opinion. You shouldn't be talked to a certain way because you don't it, like a piece of shit because you don't agree with what I'm saying. You have the right to disagree with what I'm saying. Period. Without being attacked. What kind of sixty-one-year-old man looks at eighteen-year-old girls like that? Like the pictures and shits on tw on on fucking Twitter. Anybody watching this, think about that. Think about this. A kid can watch it. Watch this show. Can watch his channel and he shouts then, out his Twitter. He shouts out his shit and go over to his Twitter and look at the shit that he's looking at. So your child can watch his shit and because his social media is linked to his fucking YouTube by his own mouth. By his own mouth, your child can go over there and and ha click on his likes and go directly to a point. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah. You go to you click on his, you go to his profile, click on his likes, and it's like. Porn, 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 porn. Yeah. Eighteen-year-old schoolgirl. I mean, it, it's unfucking believable. I mean, you, the shit he's saying to kid, to, to, to them are kids. He, is, I, I am only forty-six. Them are kids. My daughter is twenty-two, twenty-three years old. I mean, tell him your rule of thumb. Listen, any adult, if you could set that child on your lap as a grown-up, and that be a little kid, that is way too young for you. It, it, if if it could have been your daughter's friend, like Haley being 22, if it could have been her friend, I feel like, for me personally, if they're under 35, I wouldn't even talk to them. You know what I mean? Not like that anyway. And then what kind of... He is 61 years old, talking that kind of way to 18-year-olds, and then not to even... And it's not like these girls are having a conversation with Jim. This is just... The way I understand it is he is just coming off the wall with this shit. He, like, sees their picture and just sends this shit to them. Exactly. I mean, well, and, 61 and years old. I got a serious question. Why did he mention swapping STDs? Is he trying to tell us he's actually got an STD? I mean, I guarantee he's the type of dude, I, I'm telling you, man, uh, me and my boy. I mean, incestuous fucking dude, man. You're a perv, Barry, and I proved it. And I'm telling you right now, what, what's going to end up happening is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my PI buddy. Do what he does, the same way I find out everything about Coop Riders, the same way I find out about Gary next door, and put the songs about him. I'm gonna have him do a deep dive, because we find this shit just put fucking around. I'll buy him a case of beer and have him do a deep dive, spend a weekend doing a deep dive. And I'm gonna tell you what, Barry, if you have anything nasty from sexual from the 80s, anything that you've ever done, he's gonna find. Might as well get out of the head. You better get ahead of it now if there's anything there.
Because if he finds something, it's going to be so easy if he finds it to be like, well, it wasn't that. This was all set up, deal, blah, blah, blah. Because I'm telling you there's something there with this thing. I'm telling you. I'm betting, Barry, that if you could the go. Registry, listen, man, this this serious registry shit didn't start. I think it's Megan's Law that started this shit. For damn sure. That shit, like I, like I said, I have a really close family member that was molested by a cousin. And he was he was convicted. He pled guilty to this shit. But he's not on any register to this day. That's because it was before Megan's Law. Anything before Megan's Law, it's not going to be on the registry, man. They didn't go back and search through. Think about all the case files and shit they'd have to search through for in every state and county to get them on the registry. I'm telling you, dude, he's probably got a crime on the registry someplace. Someplace, somehow, somewhere in that household is on the registry. Because he's the type of dude no means yes. By the shit he's saying to these fucking 18-year-old kids. And you could... It, <laughs> just fucking disgusting. Makes my skin crawl. You're not 40 year old women. You're talking 18, 19 years old. 20, 20, even 25, 26 year old. That's still a lot fucking younger than him. That still could be his daughter. It could be his grandkids. Yeah. I mean, so you're sexually. It so could be his grandkids. Looking at, looking at a, a person that you're, could be your grandkids' age turns you on. No wonder your fucking grandkids ain't around you. I mean. I would be scared to death to bring a fucking girl around here. Or a little boy, for that matter. If he was my dad, dude, I wouldn't be bringing my girlfriend around him. I wouldn't even want her to know he existed. You know he'd be like, hey, hey Ryan, let's see if she's down. I'm betting, Barry, because I'm just going to keep digging and digging and digging and digging. And I'm just going to put it out here. You, you had a chance to take my out. Nobody can say that I'm bullying you, that I didn't give you an out because I didn't. I'm betting with, in a, with every fiber of my being that you wish you would have took that out now. Because this is going to keep getting worse. You think this is, this is the worst it's going to get? I'm going to keep diving until there's nothing more to find, and I'm going to keep posting it because it's public record. I can do what I want. As long as it's public record, you can post it. I mean, I can do what I want. You can't do nothing about it. You can't promote violence. You can't threaten people like Barry does. I mean, nope. there's things you can't do. You can't but say public racist records, things. You can promote. You, you can, yeah, you can't say racist things, but you can post public record and talk about it. And promote oh, hate, you can't promote hate speech. No, but he gets away with it. Exactly. He attacks people. He cusses people for everything. Well, we'll see about that because I, I got some more platforms I want to post that shit on. I mean... I, I I told you how it's gonna be, and I haven't lied to you yet. I'm telling you, you're done. I mean. All right, we'll see you tomorrow. I'll probably do a reaction tomorrow morning, like I always do. We might do one in the evening. I don't know. We'll just see how things go. We got to get to work on this fucking YZ and this LS swap. Unlike Barry, me and Dad actually work every day, working on cars, doing our thing. Tomorrow there will be a good parody coming up because I channeled my inner Barry. In a video and i think you guys will enjoy it night tough girl hope you had a good night on playstation live sweet dreams baby, sweet dreams, baby. okay